Hello and welcome. In a previous video about installing Windows 3.1 on a new modern hardware, I promised to film another video where we will try to install Windows 1.0 and Windows 2.0 on this PC. So today we'll do it. Let's go. We have the same PC as before. It's Intel 9-9900K, 32GB of RAM, MSI Z390 motherboard and 2K LG monitor with 144Hz rate. As you remember, in the previous video about Windows 3.1 we succeed with the installation, so it's logical to assume we can succeed with Windows 1.0 and 2.0 too, right? Let's try. Windows 1.0 release date is December 9, 1987. It was almost 38 years ago. Windows 1.0 and 2.0 as Windows 3.1 setup must be running from MS-DOS. I know, it's better to use OG version of MS-DOS to avoid any issues. But I will try to use FreeDOS first, which can be written to USB stick using a program called Rufus. It takes 2 minutes. Done. Let's start Windows 1.0 installation. First, we need to download Windows image, unzip it and copy files to USB stick. And don't forget to integrate XMJR driver, or we can get a memory error, as it was in the previous videos. Ok, let's try to boot. Press NF11 to access boot menu on MSI motherboard. Selecting USB stick, FreeDOS is loaded. Starting Windows 1.0 installation is pretty simple too. You just need to type setup.x and press enter. Great! Windows 1.0 setup begins. As you can see, the menu has a black background, not blue. As we used to see, press C to continue. Choosing setup on a hard disk. C to continue. Type the full path name Windows 1.0. Point in device. Let it be Microsoft Mouse. Choose your graphics adapter. Let it be 1 IBM. Printer? No. To start Windows 1.0, all you need is to type Win and press Enter. And the flickering screen appears. Ok, what about Windows 2.0? It will crash too. Let's find out. To install Windows 2.0, you will need to do the same actions. Download the image, unzip it and copy to USB stick. XMJR driver was already integrated. Done. Booting from USB, as you can see the menu differs from Windows 1.0 setup. Next, choosing Windows directory, choose your PC. Of course, this list doesn't have modern motherboards. You may notice HP Vector here. One of these you could see in one of my videos. Can Windows 11 run on Pentium 2 old PC 1998? Let it be IBM for example. Next, it determines VGA, keyboard and mouse. No change. Choose E if you have more than 64 KB of memory. We have 32 GB, so I choose E. Printer – no. Country settings – modify – no. Start mem test – skip. Setup has now completed successfully, let's try to boot. But the same flickering screen appears. No problem, I have another PC called Craftway. It's an old PC from 2008 with Pentium D inside. Let's try to run Windows 1.0 and 2.0 on it. But when I tried to run Windows, something went wrong. First this. Then this. And this. It was Windows 1.0 BSOD, by the way. Have you ever seen it before? It looks scary. So what's the problem? The problem is I was using FreeDOS, not an OG version of MS-DOS. On one of Windows BSODs, you may notice a message, incorrect MS-DOS version. It means all my actions from the beginning were wrong. In one of my previous videos, I've already installed MS-DOS on this PC, so I will do it again. If you haven't watched it yet, a link will be in the description. In the comments you corrected me that the latest official release of MS-DOS is 6.22, but not 7.1. Thank you for this. MS-DOS 6.22 was installed successfully, by the way. Of course, not without XMJR driver, which was integrated in the image. Starting Windows 1.0 installation. Next, next, next. And it failed again. Another flickering screen appears. If I try to run Windows 2.0, we will have the same picture. 
I think the main reason why it can be started is the wrong version of MS-DOS. So I've tried to install MS-DOS version 5.0 and it's stuck during installation. Then I tried other, earlier versions and they won't boot too. So this is the end? Of course not. I have a second PC with Intel i7-3770K on LGA1155 socket. Let's try to boot Windows on it. And that's what happens. Gray screen. And it doesn't depend on MS-DOS version. What about Windows 2.0? It failed too, but if you're using MS-DOS 6.22 version, what if we try to use MS-DOS 7.1 version? And what? We succeed? Nice. My keyboard and my mouse are working well. All because the BIOS is emulating them. Okay, let's check system properties using a program called MSD. Processor. Unknown. BIOS date. 2014. Disk drivers. It shows only 300 megabytes, but we have 6 terabytes hard disk. Com ports. Device drivers. Ok, go to Windows 2.0. Let's open calculator. It's the same as in Windows 3.1, but it doesn't have scientific mode. Calendar. We still have some artifacts, as it was in Windows 3.1 and Windows 98 videos. Card file. Clipboard. Clock. It doesn't have a digital mode yet. Command. Incorrect DOS version message appears. All because we use MS-DOS 7.1 version. Control panel. Mouse settings. Country settings. Screen colors. Let it be blue. Looks nice. Notepad is still the same after 36 years. Paint. Let's draw my channel logo again. Something like this. Nice. Reversi. I still don't understand how to play this game. Terminal. Alright, what about all games? Is it possible to run them here? Let's start blood. Not enough memory. What about Doom? It's stuck. Duke Nukem 1. Another memory error. Duke Nukem 3D. It's working, but we don't have a sound. It's not surprising, all because we don't have any sound drivers for newer hardware. GTA 1. Oh, it's working too. What a miracle. Yeah, the graphics have improved for the last three decades. Let's try Commander Keen. It's stuck too. Commander Keen 4. Out of memory. Stuck. Maybe Keen Dreams. Stuck again. Prince of Persia. Another memory error. Wolfenstein 3D. Stuck. In the previous video about installing MS-DOS, in the comment section, you told me why these errors appeared. I've tried several solutions, but nothing worked. I'm sure these errors can be solved. I think there are two reasons why we can't run Windows 1.0 and 2.0 on a modern PC. The first reason is an incorrect version of MS-DOS. For example, to run Windows 1.0 properly, you will need MS-DOS 3.3 version. To run Windows 2.0, you will need MS-DOS 5.0 version. I've tried to install all these versions on a modern PC with integrating XMGR driver, but it failed. If we can't install old MS-DOS version, then we can't run Windows 1.0 and 2.0 also. The second reason is an incompatible VGA driver. That's why you may notice a flickering screen. Looks like Windows 3.1 have a more compatible VGA driver than Windows 1.0 and 2.0. But somehow Windows 2.0 can run on Intel i7-3770K, which is amazing. That's all. In the next video we'll try to install Windows 7 on a modern PC. If you want to see more videos about Windows installation on a modern hardware, you can check the wall playlist. Also, I have a second channel where I post Windows tutorials. All links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.